Alright, here we go with today's video. Today, as you guys know by the title and thumbnail, we have been doing some what if rebuilds lately, like a what if a team traded for a certain player and all that type of stuff. We have done that over the last couple of weeks. So that's what we're doing again today. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're doing a Celtics rebuild, but trading for Joel and Bede. Look, I only see this happening if the Sixers do terrible in the bubble this year, which I don't expect them to do. I think they should be at least making the second round like last year, and hopefully uh, they do a bit. They do a bit better than that because secretly, deep down, I I do like the 76ers because mainly Ben Simmons on that team. Uh, you gotta you know represent Australia and stuff, but I do like the 76ers how they put together. Uh, I hope that they can figure it out so that something like this doesn't happen, so Ben or Joel doesn't get traded. But personally, if something like this does happen, I think they'll probably trade away Joel Embiid more than Ben Simmons, just because Joel Embiid's already like more injury prone. He's, uh, I mean, both of them are injury, pr injury prone, don't get me wrong. But personally, I think it's easier to, be, to rebuild a team around Ben Simmons instead of uh, Joel Embiid. It's just a personal opinion. Everyone else has their own opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But right off the bat, uh, for this trade to work, you're going to have to give up quite a few assets. So we're going to try and put together a trade here, and I'll go run through it with you once I've put it all together. So speaking from Boston's perspective here first, they probably don't want to give up Kemba Walker or Jason Tatum of their team. Uh, I think those two players would be what they'd try and keep off of, their, off of this trade package to try and pair Joel Embiid with Kemba. Walker and Jason Tatum. I think that would probably be their mindset, so they'll try and get it done with Jalen Brown. Gordon Haywood, just to match up salaries and stuff. Romeo Langford, young player. Marcus Smart, a young 3 and D player. He's, what, 26? He's on a kind of team-friendly deal. He's, on, he's signed up for three years worth it, and also uh, you'd be... I'll talk about that later. And probably more first-round picks would be offered, but because it's 2K, we can only offer uh, five assets at once. I think if this were to go through, there'd have to be a, like, two or three more picks, even if though they're like pick swaps or uh, swap bests or protected stuff. Uh, I think there will be more picks involved if something like this did happen. For the 76ers, we've got Joel Embiid for obvious reasons. I basically went over those before. Josh Richardson, a player that uh, they're not really using to their to its full capacity. I think if Josh Richardson went to the Celtics, he, he'd be he'd be like he was playing in Miami. Just saying, I think he'd be very very good. Uh, Mike Scott for salary reasons, uh, and Zaya Smith isn't also a kind of a young player, but we needed to chuck in someone that was making a bit of money, and uh, just so the salaries match up and stuff like that. So I think this is a trade that could possibly happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't think this is a realistic one. Uh, in my head, this makes sense for 2K, but I have a feeling that there's gonna be a lot more assets and a lot more swaps involved and all that type of stuff. But for today's video, that's what's gonna go down. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and uh, also let me know what you guys reckon a potential trade package could look like for Joel Embiid from the Celtics. So yeah, we've got a big three here of MB, Tatum, and Kemba Walker. We're going to be playing Jason Tatum at the small forward because we don't need him at the power forward anymore because what we can do is play Tice at the power forward if we wanted to and then we've got Josh Richardson that we can start at the shooting guard. So our starting five has changed dramatically from just by making this one trade. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this team the way it is. I'll pro we'll probably send Zaya Smith down the G League. How long does he have left on his contract? Yeah, we'll send Josiah down the G League uh, to pair him alongside Taco, you know. We'll go Zaya Smith to go down the Red Main uh, Long Claws, Semi, Ojale, maybe, oh, Carson Edwards will send down to the G League because he could potentially be our backup point guard of the future here. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we've got Brad Watermaker, but he's only signed for one more year anyway. So yeah, we'll simulate this first season, see how it all goes. Uh, rotation, you guys just saw that. There you guys go. There's the rotation. Pause the video if you guys want. It's just the automatically uh, automatic auto one. Uh, we're probably going to run a balanced system. Yeah, I have a feeling a balanced system is probably the best bet. I'll change the code preferred system later. And we are the projected ninth seeds. We are exactly, we are behind Philadelphia by one spot. So I'll simulate the season and I'll see you guys with everything. So we're at the All-Star break we've got three all-stars we do have ourselves jason tatum joel Embiid, and kemba walker so we've got ourselves three all-stars which is dope we've uh the sixes have ben simmons as an all-star and that is it 
Damn, all right. But I have a feeling that the Sixers are doing better than us at the All-Star break. Well, here we go. The first season just finished. We went 61 and 21. Steph Curry won MVP, putting up 35 and 8. Nice. Almost basically nine assists there. I might as well tell you that. Terry Rozier, most improved, and Brad Stevens, coach of the year. Do we get anyone All-NBA teams here? Do we, we do get Joel Embiid All-NBA second team, uh, but that's that's it. We do finish as a one seed in the Eastern Conference, but we've got Embiid, Tatum, and Kemba. I don't expect us to not be finishing as like a top two seed. Uh, Kemba, 25, 3, and 6. Tatum, 23, 6, and 2. Embiid, 27, and 3. Josh Richardson, 14, 2, and 3. Ennis Cantor, 11, 8, and 1. So, decent numbers. Not the greatest, but decent. Decent. Team stats, points per game, we were fifth. Our defense was first, and our differential was first. So, here we go. We'll just simulate round by round here. We got the Atlanta Hawks in the first round. Let's see what happens here, boys. Let's see what happens. Uh, it'll be lovely if we can okay no 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 come on please yes and we're taking on the bucks in the second round who have middleton yana still oh oh no this could be bad this could be really bad i mean surely sh no okay yeah never mind i'm not i'm not speaking too soon i'm not yeah we're down three two yeah i have a feeling Giannis is just gonna wipe the floor so what we should probably need to do in this off season is to try and find a Giannis stopper we need to find a Giannis stopper by the way we did just win that game to force a game seven uh we need a Giannis stopper if possible uh unless we beat them already oh no it's a close game it's a close game Oh, no, it's not really close anymore. Okay, we just came back from 3-2 down, and we're taking on the Nets here in the Eastern Conference Finals, who's still running their weird little lineup there that seems to be working nicely. One seed versus two seed, and apparently this series is a little bit easier than the Bucks series. Okay, never mind. I spoke way too soon. Way too soon, lad. Winner of this goes on to versus the Lakers in the finals. Celtics versus the Nets. I actually have a feeling we... Oh, yeah, we smashed the Nets here. I actually have a feeling we match up all right to the uh, Lakers here. Because Tatum can guard LeBron and uh, Embiid can guard Davis. I should, we should be all right. We should be all right matchup wise. Or 2K just got to send us 3-0 down. You know, same, 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 same. Could we maybe not get swept in the finals, please, 2K? No, we're getting swept in the finals. We're getting swept in the finals. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool, sweet. So, I mean, at least without making mo many changes to this team, we managed to make it to the finals. I guess that's good. Uh, but now we need, we can make whatever move we want. We're at the NBA draft right now. And uh, on screen right now is uh, Wizards that are selling. So, I thought Bradley Beal, if possible, would be a nice person to go after but I have a feeling we don't have the right assets to get Bradley Bill he's a very very valuable player and I don't think we have the right assets to make anything like this work uh, if we chuck in Robert Williams 5 million uh, Mike Scott we'll chuck in Mike Scott and uh, we'll chuck in that 12th pick and that pick there oh my god we just got bradley beal from the oh my oh my god yep okay cool thank you we just got bradley beal holy shit how why does this trade even go through how does why does that trade even work why does it work why does it work 2k explain please please explain it was either bradley beal or donovan mitchell i have a feeling i wouldn't have had to give up as much for donovan mitchell but bradley beal is still pretty freaking good man so good uh so now we just need a center but uh do we even have our have picks now we do have a 29th pick so i'm just going to simulate over that uh hopefully we can get some of them uh, he's got a bit of value not really zeke sure mate sure and his candor's declined sadly uh because you know i would have liked to have him on the team which we could have probably used in a trade uh, but it's alright. Bugger, we can only offer Enes Kanter 5.72 million for one season. So it's not really worth going after. So I might... Uh, if I go to a center that wants the most money, Kylo Quinn wants a buttload of money. Mm, okay, if we just go over here, go to Ian Mahimi. Offer him that player option and all that, what he wants. Cool, cool, cool. I won't renounce rights on Tarko or Ennis Cantor if they wouldn't want to come back on the qualifying. I won't say no to either of those guys coming back on the qualifying, but I have a feeling, yeah, we're not going to be able to afford any of them anyway. So, Ian Mahimi, we'll move to the power forward. He goes up to an 80 overall, and then we can pair him alongside Zaya Smith who's only gone up since we put him in the G League. Uh, so if we compare these two for a good center, uh, power forward, sorry, we should be all right. Power forward, I did see 
I see Robert Covington. I know he's listed as power forward, but what we're going to do, we're going to move him to small forward. He goes up to an 86 overall. Pair him with our boy Zeke, who we just drafted, uh, who has two-star value. Is it possible to maybe get ourselves a power forward here? That is a no, but we could get Derek Rose, so that works out nicely for us. <laughs> Derek Rose works because uh, we can move him to the uh, shooting guard. He goes up. Carson Edwards, if we move to the small forward, also goes up. So if we go Derek Rose and uh, Carson Edwards, what comes up here? Powerful. I did see Larry Markinen. Not that bad. Robert Covington, we could come could come back. Just saying we could get Bam out of bio and Tyler Hero, so we'll do that for sure, man, for sure. Bam can be our power forward now. Uh, yeah, this is just going to be f bloody good team. This is just going to be a good team, let's put it that way. And then we have Tyler Hero coming off of our bench. Bruh. What do you reckon? Just keep going until we get the entire Miami Heat on this team. <laughs> we'll just keep going until we get the entirety of the Miami Heat team on the team, hey? Uh, but now we need to find a big man to come off of our bench and I'm hoping one comes up but knowing my luck one ain't gonna come up here lovely we'll chuck in that Pistons 2020 uh, 2022 first round pick a big man I did see Trey Lyles so as you guys can see uh, we don't have uh, so as you guys can see we're using players that you guys haven't seen on our team before because we've been flipping assets uh, off camera here and we managed to get Rashawn Hobbs and we can move up to Mitchell Robinson and Alfred Payton on our team so thanks 2k for being kind of broken but uh, we've we We've now got Mitchell Robinson as our backup center. So no matter what happens, we've got some defense coming off of our bench. Ennis Cancer, welcome back to the Celtics, mate, because what we can do with you, Ennis, is move you to the power forward. You go up to an 85 and your big contract here, your $10 million contract, works nicely if we pair you with Tyler Cavanaugh and uh, we could get ourselves someone like a Jonas Valanciunas, mate. We could even get the Aaron Fox lad. Probably do that Valanciunas deal. He's got two years left on it. Valanciunas, sure, we'll go Jonas Valanciunas for sure because what we can do with Jonas here we move to the power forward what he's 611 he goes up 15 million mm, that's not that bad if we let's just have a look let's just have a look what we can get for this hey just saying if we give up Tyler Hero with Valanciunas in a first you know what stuff it let's go let's go we're trying to make our team as good as possible for this season so what we're going to be doing uh we're going to go over here we got to go uh, Shea Gilgis we can move the small forward Schroeder we can move to the shooting guard and then we can go Shea plus what two seconds hopefully Donovan Mitchell gets popped up for us hey because that's sometimes what happens but not today bugger that's that's not what we want to see not today no no Donovan Mitchell popping up for us today sad what if we offer up taco with it if we offer up taco he's got two stars we don't get a Donovan Mitchell all right, you know what? I'm all right with Shea. I'm all right with Shea being on our team. We've got, got him for two seasons. We're fine. I'm all right with Shea being our backup shooting guard. Uh, he can play the power forward and not move down. Jeebus. Uh, and now Schroeder. A small forward power forward. That's what we need. We need a small forward power forward. So if we just offer up Taco. Taco here, are we able to get a small forward power forward? I did see kelly Ubre jr which could probably fill in or oh, zach levine that works for us i guess i mean he can't play the power forward kelly Ubre can play the four you know what i'm gonna take a risk bring in zach levine move him to the small forward he goes up to an 87 then pair zach levine with a couple of second round picks and we can get ourselves someone nice, Valanciunas back. Never mind, I decided not to go ahead with those trades because I just realized we were only just past free agency. Uh, so if we go untapped potential and we'll give it to who? Shea Gilgis? Yeah, sure. He's probably our best player off the bench. We'll give it to Mitchell Robinson as well. And we're probably going to be trading away Zach Levine, so I won't give it to Zach. Uh, I'll give it to Kendrick Nunn. I'll give it to Kendrick Nunn. Hopefully he can progress a little bit over the uh, offseason here. Just saying, if I pair Zach Levine and Shea Gilgis, I can get Pascal Siakam to come off of our bench. Yeah, all right. You know what? Life's all about risks. Uh, these rebuilds are definitely all about risk. We've now got Siakam starting at the power forward position because uh, we've now no longer need Bam then. If we can move Bam out of bio with uh, Raul Neto, with Raul Neto, could we get ourselves a couple of players that would lovely be lovely to come off of our bench? Like, I'd like a couple of players here if possible. Actually, though, looking at it, Bam can actually just come off of our bench. I'm all right with that. We can just run a nine-man rotation. Because uh, Terrence Davis can run the point. I mean, sure. Uh, 
Oh, we don't have a proper small forward coming off the bench, but we should be fine looking at our starting five, because what? Tatum plays the small, Bradley can play the small. Yeah, no, we've, plenty, we've got plenty of players minutes that can play the small forward, so yeah, we should be fine. Uh, sort out rotation and stuff. I'll see you guys once it's sorted. Well, here we go. Rotation here for this last season. Kemba, Beal, Tatum, Siakam, and Embiid starting five. We then have a Bam on a bio, Mitchell Robinson, Terrence Davis, and Kendrick Nunn coming off of our bench. we got Embiid, Tatum, and Beal as scoring options. we got a four and a half star system with balance. Seems, yeah, it's definitely the best one there. And we are the projected one seed, so let's see what happens with this very stacked team. Right, we have three all-stars once again. We have Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, and Bradley Beal as all-stars. That's bloody awesome. So we end up finishing with a 64 and 18 record. Giannis won MVP, uh, putting up 35 and 15. Jesus. See, Arkham, six man, thanks. Six man. I thought he was starting for us. Never mind. And Brad Stevens, coach of the year. We do finish as the one seed in the Eastern Conference, which I mean, fair, fair. That's pretty dang good. See, Arkham is once again starting. Uh, I don't know why they keep switching him in and out. Player stats, Bradley Beal was our leading scorer. Tatum, MB, See, Arkham, Bam, Kemba. So very nice numbers by our team. Team stats, I'm guessing we're going to be one in every single... Oh no, we were fourth defense, but we were the best differential team. So... We are the one seed. We'll sim around. Hopefully, we can get to the finals once again and beat whoever is in the finals against us. So we do beat the Bulls in five games. We're taking on the Nets, who um, yeah, still have Kyrie and Durant because they're under contract and I don't see them trading them two players away. We sweep past the Nets and we're taking on the six-seeded Cavs, who have added Al Horford. Just by adding Al Horford makes you the sixth seed in the East. Sure, we sweep to the finals and we're taking on who? Golden State or LA? We're taking on Golden State here. Steph, Clay, Wiggs. Okay, and Aaron Gordon. They've added Aaron Gordon. Why aren't they starting Aaron? I don't know. I don't know why they're not starting Aaron Gordon. I would if I was the Warriors, but I'm not the Warriors and we're down 3-1. You're kidding, right? We're down 3-1 in the NBA Finals to the Golden State Warriors. Uh, we should go up, go, we should still be down, but we're one game closer to not blowing this, uh, but we're away from home now. Could we maybe win this, force a game seven, go back to Boston? We've, we're forced a game seven. We're going back to Boston here. Going back to Boston, are we able to, come on, we've got home court. Surely we can do, pull something out of the bag here. It's a close game. Oh, uh, is it kind of close? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not really close, but I'll jump in for the last two minutes. See if I can come back for the team. Right, so we don't have the ball, which is kind of a bit of a uh, pain in the bum uh, because we're going to have to try and get play some defense and try and get the ball back here. we got Siakam guarding bloody Clay. Uh, they've, we forced a backcourt violation. Let's go, lads. That's the way to do it. That's the way, guys. Good defense. Good defense. Now we've got the ball back. Let's go. Uh, we'll go to Bradley Beal, actually. If possible, we'll, actually, where's Kemba? We'll give chuck it to Kemba, and then we can chuck it to Brad, who's being guarded by Clay. Not exactly a big fan of that. Can we maybe jab step, make a little bit of room, get a? Oh, I was hoping we could get around bloody Wiggins there, but there we go. Green bean by Tatum. Uh, easy green three point shot. We're going to have to start sinking a lot of quick threes to try and stay in this. If we can force some turnovers here as well, uh, that will make it a lot easier. But it is Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, so I'm assuming they're going to start chucking up threes like that and they're going to go in. Oh, they didn't go in. Nice. Uh, who's running down? Kemba Walker's out there. Uh, bam. No. Chuck it to Tatum. I guess spin move. I was hoping that was going to be a bit of a meaner step back. We got Clay Thompson guarding Bill, so that's probably a dud matchup. So I'm probably just going to have to stick with this Tatum. Uh, pfft, nah, that sucked. That sucked. Tatum Wiggins matchup, I think, is probably the best one to score on. We're going to need a quick three here. So could Ta could Kemba maybe pull off something crazy? We'll chuck it over to. Pfft. Yeah, I don't think that's a good matchup. I mean, we could just go like this. Swing it around, chuck it in, chuck it into Bam there. We got two points. Oh my god, we just got rejected. Holy moly, who he rejected us? Aaron Gordon. Alright, alright. And our bench just came in. So yeah, our team just gave up there. Our team's just given up. 
our team's given up. Literally no way we could probably win this game unless we start sinking a whole lot of threes. But knowing this bench team that we've, our second bench, our third reserves, uh, this is not going to turn out very well. And Mitch Robinson somehow just forgot how to play defense. So yeah, we're, we're stuffed here, lads. We're stuffed. If we can just go up here, go like this. No, that's not going to work. Give it to... Come on, go to the three-point line. Thank you. Finally, someone went to the three-point line and we still missed. Yeah, there's no way we're coming back at all, bruv. No way we're coming back at all. Unless we can sink, like, so many threes real quick. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. We managed to blow the lead. Wait, no, we didn't have the lead. We managed to fuck it up. We didn't even win the championship. Woo! So, yeah, Golden State won the championship. Steph Curry won finals MVP. I accidentally simulated it. We're not doing another season here, lads. We're not doing it. But this is the team that we put together. I have a feeling 2K just doesn't like the Boston Celtics. No matter who you put on there, uh, 2K just doesn't like the Celtics. But that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys all have enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're trying to hit 3,000. And if you guys have made it this far into the video, haven't hit that red button, please be sure to go down there, hit that red button. It means a lot to me if you guys can go ahead and do that. But that's going to do it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.